our film critic Lauren Veneziani is here with her reviews. First, before we talk about Dumbo, you want to talk about some of the movies from last weekend. Yes, yeah, so last weekend was a massive weekend for movies and the box office. My favorite film of the year, Us, of course, by Jordan Peele, made over $70 million at the box it. office. Mm -hmm. And I mean, people are going to see it again. I went to see it again with my husband this uh, past Wednesday, and a lot more of my questions were even answered upon that second viewing. But I mean, to do 70 million when Get Out, I think, open to like, you know, 20 million something is just insane. This weekend, it's also going to do an insane amount of money. Um, you know, for the second opening weekend, it's going to do 33 million, you know, they're projecting, wow. with Dumbo possibly doing 44 million. So if you haven't seen Us yet, it's my favorite film of the year so far. Definitely a thought provoker. And I know we were having this discussion prior. You know, it is a horror film, but I definitely recommend people going into it thinking that there might be other, some other genres associated with it as well. And it's just kind of a very surprising film. One that makes you think for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we'll say that. We'll definitely say that. Yes. Okay. And then you went to go see Dumbo. Yes, yeah, so I saw Dumbo yesterday and you know what? Oh, look how sweet he is. I, know, I just can't, he's so he, I can't deal with his little face. So we all know the story of yeah. Dumbo where he's born with these massive ears to his mom who's in the circus. And of course, this is another one from Walt Disney Pictures that one of their other live action films. They have Aladdin coming out this year. They have Lion King coming out this year. And this is from director Tim Burton, who we all know from Miss Peregrine, Sweeney Todd, Sleepy Hollow, um, and of course the creator of Nightmare Before Christmas. So he's one of my favorite directors working today, and I do think he was an ideal director to do for this movie because Dumbo, of course, as we remember from the cartoon, has a lot of darker undertones as well. True. Some of the positives in the film are the visuals are stunning. Dumbo looks absolutely amazing. All the animals look amazing. The cinematography colors are gorgeous. The score from Danny Elfman, who Tim Burton's worked with on tons of his other films, is beautiful and a massive part in the film. I also really liked Colin Farrell and Ava Green. Some of the negatives, though, is I think that the script is a little weak. It doesn't mm -hmm. really expand, I think, on how it could in this live action remake. Michael Keaton shows up halfway through the film in this really weird voice accent, and it just seemed like I'm Michael Keaton and I'm acting this part. And I like Michael Keaton. That's surprising for him. But yeah. I, I just, and I mean, I thought that the kid actors were a little bit weak as well mm -hmm. when they could have been a very good emotional connection for us to Dumbo. But you know what? I gave it a three and a half out of five stars. I felt that it was still really, really sweet. I'm excited to see what Disney's going to do with Aladdin and The Lion King. Did so you cry? Dumbo, I, I didn't. I, you didn't. I, well, but it's like, so for me, I like, I love animals so much. It was definitely like emotional for me, but I mean, like this little face. He's so cute. Isn't he so cute? He's so cute. Yeah, so I, I, I didn't cry, but I was definitely emotional at some parts. So three and a half okay. out of five for Dumbo. All right, sounds good. And next week, Shazam. <laughs> Shazam. Oh, oh gosh, wait. I'm so excited and I love that. All right, Lauren, <laughs> thanks so much. You can follow Lauren on as DC Film Girl on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Also her website, dcfilmgirl.com. <laughs>